am Kathy McGivern and today I'm going to be talking about how to encourage your child to make art. Um, so here we go, we're going to dive in on this episode and let's get art-spired. Yeah. encourage your child to make art at home, the first thing that I would say is to encourage experimentation or play-based um, learning with materials. So I would suggest just simply putting out um, just some paper, something to draw on and something to draw with and a variety of mediums, right? And let them just pick some mediums and play with them with no end product in mind, not worrying about what they create, but just exploring the process of experimentation and understanding the mediums or materials that they are using. That is the best way to encourage them to make art, to build confidence, to develop those fine motor skills, and just to get that passion for creative thinking and playing with, um, um, and with materials and mediums and getting used to actually just making something from their imagination. Even if it's nothing at all and this looks like a blob to you or a mess of colors, it is still a big learning curve and learning process for them. They are discovering the world for themselves, the essence of the materials, and that is so great and powerful. All right, number two is to provide some structure or guidelines or a challenge for them. Sometimes we have infinite freedom. If you have older student, uh, older children, you may have infinite freedom. They're staring at this blank page and they get into this analysis paralysis, right? They're overwhelmed with all the potential ideas or what to create and they keep thinking about it, thinking about it, that they just end up think, creating nothing at all. And that's called analysis paralysis, right? You know, overcoming that blank page sometimes that infinite possibilities is very challenging, right? If you think about it, this canvas can literally become absolutely anything. I can turn this and create anything on here and sometimes the idea of that is literally frightening. It's hard to get past that, like, oh my gosh, what can I create because I can create anything, right? So it's not that, that there's an idea, it's that there's, there's no, it's not that there's no ideas, it's that there's just any option is available and that's a hard thing to overcome and get used to. So giving them a little bit of structure, like setting up a challenge or a theme, like, okay, let's just make some things, some art that's themed around the ocean, or let's do a drawing for every day for 30 days. Um, or let's try challenging ourselves to make art inspired by nature or art inspired by your favorite video games. Whatever it is, you can come up with the themes together, but providing that structure that's broad enough that it gives them creative freedom, but it is not too narrow that they're like, oh my gosh, I have to color my mountains blue and make them pointy and color my trees green or my mom and dad or whoever is going to be mad at me. And they're going to be like, you need to color neatly, blah, 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 color in the lines. I mean, that's just a way to kill your that's just not encouraging anybody to create, right? That's killing creative ideas and freedom. I'm sorry, there's no place for that. Um, so give it broad, but not too structured. And that's gonna help. All right, my question to you, and I wanna hear the answer below in the comments of this video is what struggle are you facing um, at, in your home when it comes to encouraging your child or family to make art? Please let me know your answers in the comments section below the video. All right, number three is to provide easier to use art mediums. Um, I will put my favorite art mediums in the description of this video. They include things like wax crayons, felt markers, watercolor paints, oil pastels. Those are my four favorite art mediums to use. They're easy to use. They make vibrant colors. You don't need to sharpen them. I'm going to say that again. You don't need to sharpen them. If they break, they are still good to use. I'm going to let that one sink in too. Yeah. Those are very important qualities. Also, they're really great for mixed media processes. Processes. You can draw with wax crayon and paint over top with watercolor painting uh, paints for some wax resist effects. Or draw first with oil pastels and paint over top with your watercolors to create some oil resist effects. And it looks super fabulous and effective and it's just four simple mediums that are easy to clean and acquire and they're all affordable. Crayola makes all of the above so you can get them in your big box store for cheap. The end. All right. 
Um, if you need any supplies or ideas for suggestions for supplies or equipment um, for your home, please make sure you check out the links in below in the description of this video. They are Amazon affiliate links. That means I do get a commission from them. But if you're looking for somewhere to start, just check them out to get inspired. All right, next is to create a learning space or art tub. Um, have a dedicated space that where you go to learn, whether it's on the floor with a clipboard or at your kitchen table or counter. Um, it doesn't have to be permanently set up. It just be the dedicated, dedicated space that you go to to make art together. And then I like to get as like a tub to put all your materials in for creating art. You might want to put in your tub or bin um, a tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth, so that way it's easy cleanup. A microfiber cloth and a spray bottle with just some water or water and vinegar to clean up after, so it can be the, your child can take ownership of the cleaning up process. So that way it's not stressful for you that it's, uh, you're also encouraged to do this more often. Um, maybe you want to put in those wax crayons, watercolor paints, oil pastels, and felt markers and just have them live in that bin. They're not going elsewhere in the house at the end, they need to return to the bin. So that way art making is easy all the time. And then I also suggest a pack of cardstock paper. It's just slightly thicker paper, so that way you can paint on it and it's not going to dissolve. And then it's a lot cheaper option than buying sketchbooks or the sketch artist sketch pads. It's literally the same price, but you're getting like 50 sheets at Walmart or whatever. Anyways, so that's my suggestion on how to make it successful. Just having that creative space for learning is an option, a great option. Finally, if you're looking for some more directed art lessons that are online that you can watch anytime, anywhere, on any device that is going to give your child um, some structure and guidance on how to make artworks um, using those four mediums I talked about, oil pastels, wax crayons, watercolor paints, and belt markers, then I suggest that you check out the Artastic Kids membership online streaming membership. That is my online streaming membership program that is providing you with access to hundreds of art lessons with five new ones added every single month. Um, forever and it also provides you with unlimited access to the art lessons that means that you can every single month make as many artworks as you would like with that membership and you can find more details and how to join at www.artastickids.com forward slash membership or just www.artastickids.com or find the link to Artastic Kids in the description below this video. I highly suggest you check it out. It's a super affordable um, subscription membership so that way you can cancel anytime if you're not using it and then um, you can check it out and use it as press, click and play to stream art lessons directly to your home taught by me. Um, anytime that works for you, that's best. That means that you're not driving anywhere anymore. You can just do it at home and learn how to use those art mediums and that way your child can develop skills. And there are just right levels so you can pick the level that makes sense for your child so that way they can grow with it and scale with it for whatever they're either feeling um, or wherever they're at in their abilities. Um, or if you have multiple children, they can all use the same account and then have different levels for your different aged children in your family. Also, they come in different themes. So there's like transportation, trending things, elements of art. There is the holidays and seasons. There are plants and landscapes, reptiles, underwater, and so much more. So make sure you check it out again at artastickids.com. All right, my friend, that's it for this episode. Make sure you watch the next video, which is how to teach the elements of art. Please make sure you click that link above or below in the description of this video. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next episode.